by Cecil Scott. Oh dear. One need to learn not to run their mouth at Battlecade. Stay in Darius right now. Oh my god, he just slapped big. It's a murder. Good lord. It's a murder. With gusto. You can say that again. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. We have got us a hoss battle at Battlecade 16. Aaron Biggs, who has already crushed one man tonight, going nose to nose and face to face against Big Dave Dawson. Look at these two men. It's almost like a, a mirror image here. They're the same size, the same height. Aaron Biggs says to do something, and Dave Dawson is looking tentative. How many times do you see either Dawson brother look tentative, Cecil Scott? Well, how often do either Dawson brother face somebody as big as them? They call an elbow tie up, and neither man is moving an inch, man. I think somebody, as you know, what's about to get knocked in the dirt in this match. Strong lockup, neither man is moving. This is almost like a test of strength here. Man, and Dave took the first step back. It's like two rams. Oh man, we're gonna test we're gonna test these ropes here in a second if these two big men lean on our ropes. Man, alive. I, I, I venture to say we're gonna see some meaty thuds mm -hmm. in this match. I believe so. It's a very uh, very much a feeling out process. Another lockup. Well, we can say for sure, Aaron Biggs has definitely faced men his size. Absolutely. You would think in all the wars that he's had on the circuit, you would think that Dave Dawson did as well. Both these men, I know for a fact, have had to go to war against likes of the Gorilla Squad. I'm sure all the uh, East Coast Davis face guys like uh, Timber the Bunker Jack and big guys like that. Not to mention, Big Dave Dawson has probably had to bounce some people Aaron Biggs the size out of bars in downtown Wilmington. Whoa, hey, look at the speed from the big man. Hip toss? Mm, no nothing. Way. No way! Oh! Sends him down! It's almost like a sumo match! Oh, God. Dawson to the floor! And you can see the look on his face. Big Dave Dawson is not used to being thrown around like that. And uh, as the old saying goes, now for something entirely different oh dear. from that first match. Oh! Oh! And I'm uh, watching the people. There is not a single person here that's not grinning from ear to ear right now. Everybody having a blast here tonight. Super no vacancy at the Mid-Atlantic Sportatorium. Biggest house in the history of this venue. We thank everyone that has packed this venue on an uncharacteristically hot December night. It's easily 130 degrees outside. That might be slightly an overstate. Give or take. Give or take. I'll give you take. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Dawson is trying to avoid getting that big man's hands on his chest any further. I'm thinking Aaron Biggs didn't get quiet enough for, uh, for Christmas dinner. Might be a slight quickness advantage for Biggs. He's a, he oh! Oh God. He's a heck of an athlete. Both these guys are color. Two! Two! Is this me or Dave has been on the defensive? Yeah, he has. More than I would have thought, to be quite honest. Dave Dawson has got so much advantage in, in beating people up. And he definitely has the experience. Uh-oh. Is it going to be the fast press again? Might get our second battle cave murder here. He's already flattened Darius Lockhart. Look at the aggression on the face of Aaron Biggs. Oh, he there's, there's charged him experience. with the avalanche. That's what I was talking about, that experience. Biggs may have hit the buckle on that one. And he didn't take it on the back or the shoulder. It looked like he took it right in the side of the neck. Yeah, you're exactly right. He may be hurt. Referee Charles Richardson checking on him. And whoa, Big Dave Dawson is throwing the ref back. And we've seen in several, you know, in some recent very, very high profile matches, you hit the buckle wrong. And uh, it can really jack your neck up. Mm -hmm. And that was definitely the opening Dave Dawson needed. 
Neckbreaker, perhaps. We saw the neck of Biggs crash into the buckle, the neck and head, and even Charles Richardson feels out with cover. Two, only two. Crowd really trying to get Biggs going. Both these men, uh, top prospects for uh, mine and the boys' heavyweight invitational tournament one day. There's a heavyweight invitational tournament? You Maybe on, might be on the docket for 2016. I like how you waited until I retired for that. Mm -hmm. And lost weight. You look good. Thanks, brother. I haven't worn these pants in two years. Hope you're ready to be Kazi's partner later. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, dangerous. Good Lord. Aaron Biggs good. dropped on his head. That's at least 360 pounds of weight that just came down on his own head and neck. And if you don't know, I mean, that's always been one of my favorite holes to perform. That is such a dangerous move. It's all right on the head and the shoulder, and this is it. Cover. Shoulder came up, Cecil Scott, but not a lot of power behind it. Yeah, he just, the only reason it got up, Dave left some daylight there. He's done! I, I think he's right. This has got to be it, whatever he's going to hit. Mm -hmm. Oh, dear. He's heading up. Dave Dawson is heading up here. Woo! Rocking a little junk. This is like King Kong climbing the Empire State. Oh, boy. Dave Dawson looking down on the Middle Atlantic Sportatorium. Ooh! Crushes his own elbow. And it's very easy, especially a man that size, to dislocate the elbow when you miss like that. Mm -hmm. That's where your own weight and your own power goes against you. Yeah, and you see him clutching it. Man, look, nothing pretty. Oh, boy. Aaron Biggs is firing back on Dave Dawson. These two bruisers slugging it out here. Woo. Oh, look at that power. Good Lord. Two. That was a near fall, Cecil Scott. Yes, it was. Not quite the 2.9, but Dave Dawson showing hell of resiliency there. And this when he had things going his way, he's right back on the defensive. Yeah, we kind of got a stalemate here between these two big bulls. Uh-oh. Oh, he's setting him up. Two minutes remain. Two minutes. Charging in. Boom! All the weight. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, might have been going for that Thez press, but Dave Dawson avoids it. Dave Dawson not one to end up like Darius Lockhart, crushed under the weight of Aaron Biggs. Oh, he turned the stick and he waved it off. I think he's taking the count out. What is this? After all that? I thought these guys were supposed to be so bad. We saw this in the summer against Chamberlain and Chuck Sterling. I thought these Dawson brothers were supposed to be so bad. It's like they don't want to give him the satisfaction. You know what it's like? It's like a wannabe tough guy who doesn't want to get exposed. And that's 10. Biggs will win it on a count out. Hey, he still goes through the pay window. He absolutely does, but the Dawsons once again would rather take the walk than be exposed. You're absolutely right. A hell of a slugfest, but perhaps the bigger story is a Dawson walks away again.